What is up y'all? I'm the Jammin Outdoors and this is my channel. So this is a 2006 CBR 1000. If y'all haven't seen my previous video, go watch it. It's a really sad story. The bike actually belonged to this man. This is Joshua Becker. He actually ended up passing away in 2016 on the motorcycle. A uh, lady pulled out in front of him. Even said she saw him, but still pulled out. Uh, he was doing everything right. He was going the speed limit. So it, it's just frustrating. And I know the bike community is going to appreciate this rebuild. and. Uh, even she is. She wants to see it fixed up. And in reality, it's as good as a donor bike. I mean, it, it, the motor's good, the forks might be good, but I basically had to buy an entire bike. I purchased a lot of parts from a subscriber in Colorado, Michael. And then I also had to buy a ton of parts from a guy in Chicago. He drove all the way down specifically for this. He kind of made it to a vacation for himself. Really cool dude. Uh, and I don't, I don't blame him for wanting to get away from Chicago right now. It's crazy, he was telling me. But hopefully I can get this thing pulled out, rebuilt within the next few weeks. So y'all stay tuned. So I just wanted to say something real quick before I got back to work. We all know that death can be super hard, especially for motorcyclists, because we know that so many stupid people are on the roads. And we run that risk every time we get on the road. We have a passion for it, but it still doesn't make the risk any less. And for him to go so soon, it's just, it's sad to see. And so I'm, I want to try to help her out. And I made a GoFundMe for her and her kids. Hopefully can get her a new car because her car is leaking multiple types of fluid. And, you know, her kid, one of her kids is coming up on college age. You know, one of his kids too. I mean, they're, they're both his kids. And so it's just sad to see that he wasn't able to see him grow up. I just want to see the biker community come together and try to help her out. I'm thinking two, three, four thousand people give ten dollars. I think that's a drop in the hat compared to how many people would typically watch my videos. I mean, I have a couple videos with a couple million views, and I'm hoping that if I can get enough people, you know, ten bucks for most people is not much. So I'm, I would love if the biker community come together and try to help her out because we can imagine, we can imagine what that would be like if we left our loved ones without us, and it could happen any time. And the link for the GoFundMe is down in the description, so please look at it. Thanks, y'all. Gonna empty any coolant that there is in the bike. Gosh darn it. Gonna get this plug off, the radiator fan. Rectifier. This vacuum line goes all the way back here. This bottom one goes to right underneath the second injector over here. This vacuum line goes all the way back here. And two right here. And this one, this one's in the bottom of that box. Right there. That little bell. Pop that one off. Pop that off. This clutch line, I pull this off. It's actually a hard clutch line. Looks like all the way down to there.
and remove these plugs. A little tab you pull towards you right here, pull like that. Do the thermostat housing. Remove this. This controller is destroyed. Ignition. Start undoing the throttle bodies. These two lines right here. Gonna remove this. That is the mid pipe. Try to get in the neutral so you can pull this chain out and hopefully so there was nothing holding that swing arm on no bowl no nothing that's why I actually had to order a swing arm bolt, motor mount, stuff like that. All that's holding this thing is these adjustable motor mounts. I'm gonna try to lift this and put it onto that tire. So when I pull the motor out, it's not gonna hurt it. Stand. I'm going to take this off. This goes to the clutch. So you unscrew the sides, you pop this off, and then you can pull this out the front. Got one coil, two coil, three coil, four coil. So I got it back in, I'm gonna try to Since I can't get this all the way in there, I'm just gonna try to double nut that so I can try to spin off this side. Lock that in. Dang it. 
I don't like this option, but it is an option. It is a pipe wrench. So the little tabs on the adjuster are actually bent. Um, I messed them up trying to get it off. Not a big deal because they're in the new frame, but I was able to get it loose by using the castle nut tool. So now I got some space. So I can actually pull the motor out, pull everything off of it, and get it ready to put in the other frame, which I got all the parts right here to put it together. I'm actually remove the front suspension first real quick. Ooh, that's packed on there good. Get the little tabs peeled back so you can get this nut off. And I have a castle nut tool, but it doesn't seem to work very good. So I just use a punch. And I'm gonna get this puppy off. fun way. There is the total frame. Just look how bad that is. Just look how demolished that is. I'm going to pull this rim off. I got the rim off the swing arm. I'm gonna clean this thing up to get ready to put on the other frame. Now I'm gonna tear this puppy down. This tire has not had air in five years. I'm gonna see if it holds air. Put 30 PSI in it, and we'll see if it holds. I already sprayed these with PB Blaster, so I'm gonna remove these puppies.
So here's the motor. In the next video, I'm going to clean it up, check the valve clearances, make sure all the seals are not going to leak because on my 600, I had the thermostat leak. I had to pull the throttle body off and it was just a pain. So I'm making sure everything's good before I put it into the bike. I'm changing the spark plugs, just doing a lot of maintenance stuff to make sure it runs like a top when I put it in the new frame. Here is all the old stuff. So a lot of the stuff's not usable. You can see the frame right there. It's just, you know, the main frame is straight, but obviously this is where the subframe bolts to and it's just, it's just demolished. As well as the rear rim. Just look at that puppy. It's so bad. Now for the front suspension, it's in relatively good shape in terms of nothing was damaged, but there is stuff like surface rust on the inner tubes and you know, it's just dirty. Depending on how good I can get this cleaned up, I might use this on a EV build. I really want to do an electric bike because I do a lot of gas stuff. It would be cool to do an electric bike. But I actually have a new suspension for this bike. Really good condition, new front and rear rims, new frame, new swing arm if I need it. I want to do the aluminum if I can, if it's straight, because that's what he had on it. And I want to do it back to exactly how he had it if I can. Also, just have a bunch of miscellaneous new parts for the bike. Because a lot of this is just unusable. I mean, subframes bent, tanks bent. I mean, that's a lot of visual damage. But everything else is basically actually damaged. So I'm basically replacing the whole entire bike. This is obviously the most important part of the bike. It's the heart of the bike. And Ashley, she wants to just, she wants this to live on. Even though it's going to be basically a new bike, the heart will still be in this new bike. So it will still be his bike at the heart of this motorcycle. So anyway, it's going to be fun to get this thing together. Hopefully I can do this soon. I'm trying to do it before I leave for Yellowstone, which is in a few days. So let's go.